The 2018 NBA draft has shown glimpses to be one of the better draft classes in recent history, with some future stars in Luka Doncic, Trey Young, Jaron Jackson and some upcoming players in DeAndre Ayton, Marvin Bagley, Shea and so on. The Knicks had two picks in this draft one being the ninth pick which they drafted Kevin Knox who will make another video one in the 36th overall pick Mitchell Robinson. Mitchell Robinson is a 7 foot stud with a 7 feet 4 wingspan. In his first two season in the NBA Mitchell Robinson has averaged 2.2 blocks per game and in his rookie season being ranked second on block leaders. Only behind Miles Turner and ahead of defensive player of the year Rudy Gobert. He has only averaged around 22 minutes a game which is essentially what a bench player gets. If we look at his per 36 numbers he would be defensive player of the year due to him. Averaging 3.6 blocks per game. Robinson also has crazy freakish athleticism being that he is 7 foot 220 pounds. I believe given the right coaching and training Mitchell Robinson can be the defensive player of the year in the next two seasons. Let's talk about coaching, real quick, as we are aware the Knicks signed Tom Thibbs to a five-year deal. I feel as this is a good thing for Mitchell because he has a defensive coach who will help his God-given talents and make them better while also being on his head for terrible possessions. Now, let's talk about his athleticism being that he's 7 foot with a 7 feet 4 wingspan he's a lob, threat from anywhere in the paint. This season Mitchell Robinson broke the all-time field. Goat percentage set by Will to 74.2%. Robinson does have some flaws to his game, being that he tends to overcommit in fouls a lot averaging 3 fouls a game which goes up to 5 fouls per 36 minutes. I do see this going down under Coach Thibbs coaching but it still worth to look into. The next flaw or somewhat of a flaw is his lack of range. He can't shoot the ball or even 3s. He has been working on his game over the offseason but only time will tell. The next problem is his weight being only 220 for a big man whose main focus lies inside he needs to put on muscle so other big men can't push him around. Since he's only 22 these are all things he can work on in his career. Mitchell Robinson has all the tools to be one of the best centers given he works on his flaws and strengths. The Knicks have a bright future with Robinson and RJ as their duo chemistry is amazing. That's it guys let me know what y'all think in the comments and I'll catch you in the next one.